Saturday today and I thought that it might be fun to do a little vlog and show you guys a day in life of Zesty on the weekend during lockdown. <laughs> it's January 23rd. Um, right now I am in the midst of a lockdown where I live. So currently you're not allowed to leave your house unless it is for food and essentials so we do have to run out for some event for some essentials today we got to pick up more dog food some more food for ourselves and just a few other little things so i'll take you guys along with me there so i actually have my yoga mat set up and i have my journal my headphones because i'm gonna just do my morning meditation and yoga practice um i like to do this every morning if i can um even if it's just a really quick 10 minute meditation um i find it really helps me get set up for the day and it just helps me feel better throughout the day get more things done and just feel overall just really warm inside so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll go and take chico out for a walk you ready you ready for a walk um, it is just a little chilly outside, so I'm just putting on his little cute sweater. Okay, there we go. Transition. Yeah, you're so excited. I'm so excited. You ready? So it was actually a little sunnier earlier. Right now it's not too sunny, but it's not too cold. So we're happy with that. She was just doing his business, you know. Oh, hey, come here, I gotta take your leash off. Chico, come here. I gotta take your leash off. There you go. Okay, there he goes. What are you looking at me for? What are you doing? What are you doing? I think he's very confused as to why I'm just sitting here. <laughs> so Chico is actually 17 years old. Um, he's definitely getting up there, but he is so spunky as you can see. I love how much energy he has and he's just, he acts like a young pup still, it's amazing. So we left a bit of a mess in the kitchen and living room last night. It's not crazy, but we were watching the Queen's Gambit last night and we got really tired. So we decided to just kind of leave everything for this morning. So I'm just gonna do a little cleanup. Okay, so I just finished cleaning up and I'm just gonna show you guys how I make my matcha. So I actually use a uh, super juice to make it. This has a really strong matcha flavor in it and I find that it's a little too strong um, on its own with just some water. I know you can also blend this in a smoothie, but it's really great because it's all natural and it has 23 raw ingredients and you get over 60% of your daily intake of which is great. So I'm actually gonna make this for both Justin and I. Justin just made us some eggs. So the first thing I'm doing for my matcha is just boiling some water in my kettle. If you guys are Star Wars fans, you'll know about this. So obviously this is my mug and this is Justin's mug. So one scoop. Gives you all of this energy and nutrients. I love it. So I'll put that in while my water's boiling. 
Oh, and by the way, this is called Subi, if you're interested. And I believe that this is from Vancouver. But yeah, really good stuff. So I really like mine with soy milk. Um, I just use an organic soy milk. So I have my little frother here. This also warms the milk up. So I'm just adding some milk in there. Okay. I have a question. What's up? Did you ever, when you were a kid, did you, did you guys ever do the Easter Bunny or no? Like the, an Easter Bunny hunt? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. To make this extra delicious, I'm adding in just a little bit of vanilla coffee creamer, just a touch in each one, because it's gonna give it that vanilla flavor and super enjoyable. So I'm just gonna fill it up, I would say about less than halfway. That looks good to me. Just give it another stir in each one. And then I'll go ahead and put in my milk. Look how nice soy milk froths up in this. This is the Nespresso milk frother. So I'll go ahead and just pour in some milk, yum. Oh. And there you go. You go, babe. Thank you. So the problem with being left-handed is the mug is always opposite for me. So this is always really awkward, but cheers guys. It's really good. So we're just gonna enjoy some breakfast. Maybe I'll make some hash browns and then uh, we're probably gonna head to Farm Boy to pick up some more goodies. So we're just on our way to do some errands. We're gonna go to Farm Boy and pick up some bread and some pasta and maybe some treats for tonight. And we gotta to go to Pet Value to pick up some food for Chico. And uh, yeah, we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. Most places are closed, so we can't really go anywhere. But uh, yeah. It's also really sunny out today, which is super nice because it's been gloomy all week. And the sky is looking quite nice. How sunny it is. Ooh, it's bright. So we're just arriving at Farm Boy, which is one of my favorite places to grocery shop. They always have a monkey in every single Farm Boy that just swings over the bananas. We just finished grocery shopping and now we're on our way to get some dog food. Just snacking on some chips I got at Farm Boy. So good. That goes great. Yep. So we just picked up some dog food and now we stopped at Jackson Triggs, which is a winery here in Niagara on the Lake. Justin is going inside to get us a bottle of wine, maybe one or two, um, for our dinner tonight. We wanted to do clam pasta, but they did not have clams at Farm Boy, which was really sad, but we ended up getting some mussels. So we're gonna have some mussels and pasta tonight. So he's just in there getting some wine for us and then we're probably just gonna head home and unpack the groceries, have some lunch, and maybe chill out for a bit. We're home. Hello. Hi, we're home. Hello. Hi, Angel. Hi. Yes, how are you? Do you have a nice nap? Huh? Bless you. Bless you, hi. Hi, sweetie. Hi. So we just got home and we're just unloading the groceries. We're gonna put all this stuff in the fridge. I gotta get these mussels in a bowl so that they can breathe a little. And we're just gonna have some lunch right now. 
So I think it's almost six o'clock now. I wanted to show you guys a little project that I'm working on. So I don't know if you guys have seen those bendy candle trends all over Pinterest. I'll put a little picture up here. Um, even on TikTok, there's this, this trend of bending your own candles. So this past week, I decided to jump on that trend and try out these bendy candles, except I did struggle a little bit. So I'm just gonna try again. So I picked up these candles at Walmart. I really wanted to find longer paraffin candles because this will only work with paraffin candles. However, I couldn't find any and ordering them online and getting them shipped to me on time was just a nightmare right now. So I did attempt doing some of these the other day and I got two. So I was able to bend two of these. So here's one of the ones that I did. And here's the other one. They look pretty similar. And I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty challenging to do this without breaking them. I did end up breaking two of them, as you can see. So yeah, I'm gonna try again. I really want to do the twisty ones because I think that those are the prettiest. So I'm just gonna do it in my sink. And most of the tutorials call for warm water because the hot water can melt the candles. However, I don't think that these candles are full paraffin. They definitely have some paraffin because I was able to bend them, but I think they must have some other substance in here because they do not bend as easily as they do in other videos. So I'm gonna try to make this a little bit warmer, hotter than warm, and I'm gonna let these soak in here for, I'm gonna say about 20 minutes to see if these work. I'm making bendy candles. I didn't see these on the back. Why? Why are you trying to ruin my... I'm not. I, I need to do the bathtub. So it seems I'm being kicked out of the washroom because Justin decided to run himself a bath. Look at his little setup here. Lit some candles. He's got his wine. He even lit some incense. So I'm being kicked out. So I have to relocate my candles to another sink. So I've relocated to my washer. It's now been about 20 minutes that these have been soaking, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do one. So I think you're supposed to literally, oh, it's actually flattening out a little bit. Just for all of you who are wondering, you really gotta put in some work. <laughs> so, so I haven't gotten much down, but I did a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put this back. Oh no, you can see it's starting to crack. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. I don't know about this, guys. Let's try one more. Let's just try. I'm gonna just do it just in the middle, so not too much. I don't think the twisties are gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time and just be a little bit more gentle. Better than no progress. Oh, did I just break it again? Guys, the twisty is not gonna work with these because I just cracked it again, so. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to stop trying. However, you can do the bendy. So I'll show you how to do the bendy. Oh. I think the best way to do the bendies with these candles in particular is to just keep them in the water. So these are really easy to bend in the water once they've soaked for a while, as you can see. But rolling them is another story. <laughs> It 
it worked. Look at that. I think the other um, trick to get these to stay is to run these under cold water. I think once I have all of them done, I'll go ahead and do that. I think maybe I'll be patient and I'm gonna order some real paraffin wax candles. Maybe some that I actually really like, get some pretty colors, wait till those come in. And maybe if I can get this right, I'll put out a tutorial. Why don't we move on to something a little bit more exciting and less disappointing, shall we? Okay, so now we are back in my kitchen because the time has come. For me to try more boxu items <laughs> if you haven't heard of boxu this is a premium japanese snack subscription box and i was fortunate enough to actually have this gifted to me by one of my friends mary if you do ever watch this thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i am so obsessed with this boxu box basically what it is is japanese snacks sent to you directly from japan and there's a little booklet here that tells you where all of the snacks are from. And it'll actually tell you a little bit about the snack, the tasting notes and such, which is really cool. Um, I would have done an unboxing video for you guys, but we actually got this in the mail yesterday and we were so impatient and excited to try that we ended up trying a few of these already. And usually I would wait for Justin to tried the rest, but he's still taking a bath. So figured I would just do this by myself now. I'm thinking I want something savory, but I did prepare myself just a little cup of coffee in case there is something sweet. This mug was made in Japan, which is quite fitting. Mm -hmm. So this month's box is Valentine's Day themed, I think. The theme is Ichu Ichizuna Kimochi, or Wholehearted Feelings. How cute. So this one here caught my eye. So this one is from Hiroshima. Let's go to the page. Ooh. So this is the Amako, Amakoage Mini Fried Rice Crackers. Oh, delicious. These bite-sized rice crackers are flavored with soy sauce and have a rich umami flavor with just a hint of sweetness. Crunchy and light in texture, you'll finish the bag in no time. You know, you're probably right. Super, super cute packaging. So let's give it a try. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So that's what they look like. Mm. Oh my goodness. Definitely get that umami flavor. Perfect crunch. Mm. Mm. They kind of taste like the cracker version of a really delicious chicken strip or chicken nugget. Delicious. I'm gonna save the rest for Justin. Let's move on. Okay. So these look really cute. I think these are just gummies. Let's see what else is in here. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, what is this big bag? It looks like some sort of puffed chip. So these are the Iwashita's Pickled Young Ginger Fried Rice Cracker. Very nice, okay. So it says, these fried crackers are made in collaboration with Iwashida's Foods, made famous for their delicious pickled shin shoga or young ginger condiment. The light, refreshing taste of the ginger seasoning brightens the savory crackers wonderfully. So I'm expecting a gingery flavor. Mmm. They smell? vinegary mm. and 
my favorite. So this is what they look like. Come closer. They look like they're gonna be crispy. Mm. Oh my goodness. These are so good. Mm. Mm. Okay, you definitely get the pickled flavor in there. Amazing crunch. Overall, fantastic, A++. Where am I gonna find these now? Maybe I can order off of the Boxu website, but these are amazing. Absolutely delicious. A++, thank you, Boxu. Mm. So good. Okay, so I'm gonna try one more item because we still haven't made dinner yet and I don't wanna ruin my appetite for dinner. Okay. I'm gonna grab this little guy here since this one's pretty small. It looks like it's some sort of mochi. Okay, so this is from Tokyo. I just gotta find the piece for it. I can't find it. I cannot seem to find it. Where are you? Oh, there we go. It is mochi. Of course it is. Okay. So this is the Fuyiya Milky Mochi. So it says, this mochi is a chewy collaboration with Fujiya Milky, a popular candy in Japan known for its sweet, creamy flavor. Inside the soft mochi is a layer of marshmallow and a creamy condensed milk filling. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. My coffee here ready? A little tidbit about myself that I never really noticed. I am very picky when I eat anything sweet. I have to have a cup of coffee beside me to balance out the sweetness and I will prefer not to eat the sweet item if I don't have coffee I'll wait till I can get coffee so weird maybe uh, I'm sure some people can relate with that but here's my coffee I'm gonna have a sip of it before I try this little guy if I can get it open I'm also terrible at opening things okay Mmm, it just smells like that condensed milk smell, which I love. Okay, so it's quite soft. It's crazy to me that these seem so fresh, even though they've been packaged and shipped across the world. Like, it's nuts. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness it took a second but it's so good a little sip of coffee so this is what it looks like on the inside you can see that it's got the marshmallow filling and the condensed milk filling and it's super squishy this is honestly delicious mm. Ujiya milky mochi so good Mm. Oh, that was so good. So, so good. I have so much respect for Japanese food and Japanese culture. I think that it is fantastic. I think that it is so unique and I love their snacks. I think what they do with their flavor combinations and texture combinations is just so unbelievable and amazing. And I could go on and on about this. And my dream one day is to go to Japan and spend a lot of time there and just eat, experience the culture and have fun. So in the meantime, this box has been fantastic. I think I'm gonna continue uh, with my subscription even after my gift subscription is done. Thank you again, Mary, so much. This was amazing. So I think now that I have had my little snacks, I'm gonna take Chico out for a walk. Once I get back, I'm gonna start prepping the dinner. You ready for your walk? Mm -hmm. You ready for your walkies? Chico had a long nap. Right, honey? You just had some water. You smell the Japanese snacks? You know, they smell delicious, don't they? 
I'm also obsessed with my dog. Let's go, Angel. Let's go for a walk. Okay, so decided to change for dinner and cooking, so I'm wearing my really cute apron. And we're gonna make some mussels and pasta. So I'm just gonna cut up some vegetables. I'm gonna add some fennel to this because I love fennel with mussels. And we got some shallots somewhere here. And our mussels that still need to be scrubbed and cleaned. Sunday. What do, you want, what do you want for dinner tomorrow? I'll make it. Um, I don't know. Maybe something that's not seafood. Okay. Uh, should I try my best for like a Korean wings? Ooh. With those chicken wings? Yeah, that sounds good. Right. So I wanna show you guys a trick to getting garlic smell out of your hands. Uh, for me, this has always been a huge issue. No matter what I used to do, I would have garlic smell on my hands for a day or two after cutting it, so I would just avoid cutting it. But of course, I love garlic and I can't really avoid it. So, the trick is metal. So you can use your knife or you could use um, your sink, your faucet, and cold water and soap. So what you do is you just wash your hands with the cold water, make sure it's cold. Put some soap, I use dish soap when I do garlic, but you can use hand soap too, I think it'll work fine. So once you've lathered your hands, you're going to rub your hands on metal. So I'll just rub it on my sink and just make sure you're rubbing all of your fingers, especially the ones that were touching the garlic. I know, it seems super weird. And it's the only thing that works. So, good. I like to do this as soon as I'm done cutting the garlic. And then I continue on with the rest of my prep. Mm. Garlic free, awesome. using a Sauvignon Blanc for this because it pairs really, really nicely with seafood. This has a high acidity to it, so it's perfect for this. bread that I'm just gonna put in the oven. I'm just gonna broil it to toast it quickly. Put my pasta in. 
And our dinner is ready. And my bread is looking good too. Perfect. Mmm, delicious. It came out delicious. So we're currently just enjoying dinner. Um, I think we are gonna call it a night and maybe watch some Netflix or possibly play some chess. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching this. If you've made it this far in the video, then thanks so much. I hope that you guys have a lovely day, lovely evening, morning, whatever time you're watching this. And I hope that you have a great week. So I'll see you guys really, really soon. And uh, if you did like this video, make sure to click the like button. If you wanna see more of me, then definitely subscribe, all that fun stuff. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye.